That just looks like poppin' bees. What? What's poppin' bees? What's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sounds. <laughs> My anger before we started recording. You have so many drinks. What do you mean I have so many drinks? Well, you just have like I got me I got me a blue moon, a little bubble tea, mango slush. We made it. We made give a me, give me more wire. Oh, sorry, mate. Thanks. You know we 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 did a we did a bubble tea run before today's episode. Got me a little americano made by Derek Zoo himself. Made by me. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm still a good barista. I really, I could go back to Starbucks and like still know how to do. Well, everything. you took shrooms and had Starbucks death, as you were telling me. No. Yeah, <laughs> let's get into that because I do want to talk about that because yeah. we're doing a, a yearly reflection, and I think that f- doing shrooms forced me to reflect a little bit, mm-hmm. and I hate reflecting. I waited the whole year to, re- to wait until this episode <laughs> so you to reflect, because <laughs> like, you only had to do it like one time yeah. out of three hundred sixty-five days. I, I hate confronting my emotions. Well, why? It's uncomfortable to me. Oh well, like why don't you just do it, bro? Also, I have a water. That's my last drink. I could just do it. Like, yeah, technically. Like, I have the physical capability to just do it, but it's uncomfortable to me. It's, um, what, what, it's uncomfortable to you. Like, if, like, what's, what's your thing? Like, throwing up? I don't like throwing up. Yeah, but you could, hypothetically. I could, I, I don't, could. But I don't, you don't want to, and I don't want to confront my emotions. So, Fuck. There we go. So, I, I wait for, I wait to do it for the podcast, because if yeah. you were going to throw up... You would do it for content, my boy. And I would wait. I would only do it one time throughout the year. Okay, I t- okay. You 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 even yeah. it out on the same level for yeah. me, and I get it now. Uh, but I was mad. Hold on. Yeah, I had a conniption fit. What is because... what is whoa? Yeah. What is a conniption? See, I told you I've been trying to like be smarter. Jeez, man, so that's I a big that word. word. Holy I, shit! I told myself I was gonna use it today. Well, well done. You've crossed it off. So I had a conniption fit. I was on TikTok, and I don't go on TikTok that much. But so when I do go on TikTok, I get like the most popular ones, mm-hmm. you know, like I get the weekly update, most popular. Um, no Charlie D'Amelio anymore. She fell off or something. I I, I, I I just don't think we're on that side of TikTok. Yeah. Well, I there was this new thing. There's this new trend going on <clears throat> with like the Gen Z, um, the, the Gen Z woke community where Osama bin Laden had a manifesto about how like just like shitting on America. Yeah. Right. And everybody was like, oh my god, this is so eye-opening. This is, like, so true. Like, wait, America so they're, they're is, siding with the binster? They're siding with Osama Bin Laden. That's, like, dude, there's, like, people you don't side with. Like, there's, like, four. It, there's Hitler. Oh, like, there's Hitler, like, my dad, your dad. And Osama. This is Osama. Those are the four you don't side with. Like, people love Osama right now. Like, he's up right now. Damn. I never thought Osama would be up. I know. Like, well, that means that no matter what you do, you could always change and all, you can uncancel yourself. You know, maybe let's get him on the pod. Yeah. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, they lost uh, 18 hard soldiers that day, bro. It must have been hard for him, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard day for everyone. You know, working nine to five. Uh, Not easy. For did anyone. you see that on TikTok? No. I, this, is, I'm, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. There's this, like, you know Dave Portnoy? I've heard of Dave Portnoy. He does this podcast with Josh Richards. You're not in the loop, man. What the fuck? I'm not even in the loop. I'm on, I'm on like, hockey TikTok. Nice. I respect it. Thank you. Basically, there's this girl complaining about how she has no time to do anything because she works a nine to five. And Josh Richards, the TikTok dancing guy. Okay, no, okay, I know. Okay. He kind of just is like, dude, like, just go start a business, bro. Dude, that take <laughs> is so fucking stupid. I, know, I swear, people that are like that have more than a million dollars in net worth, yeah, it's, and it's easy. Have for you lived to start a in the Hollywood sphere for more than like a year. Your take is somewhat like invalid because you're in a fucking fishbowl of famous rich people yeah like dude it's hard to start it's hard to start a business if you have a single mom and you have a kid with gabagoo you think they're gonna fucking start a business no bro why you me no not you (laughs) i just i was directing my anger (laughs) that way but i didn't mean to hit you, you 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 explained my life though Fuck. <laughs> Why okay, would well, you do? Why'd you do that? I didn't mean to. Well, it, yeah. it was an accident. You're not in the loop. That's like a big thing. I didn't know this. Yeah. Okay. Well, fuck. I gotta. I guess I gotta go on TikTok more. How much do you go on? Be honest. Um, on TikTok, yeah. not as much as I used to. Maybe like 
the the highest the most the app i go on the most is probably youtube and it has like two and a half hours of screen time because i fall asleep with youtube on respect right and then if it's tiktok i probably go on tiktok only if i'm pooing or if i'm like drinking my morning coffee yeah you know how some people that's will healthy. have a morning coffee with a cigarette? Yeah. I have morning coffee with TikTok. That's a Gen Z It's thing. just a different kind of drug. Yeah. So I think maybe like 30, that's healthy. 45 minutes. That's really healthy. So I mean, I know if your screen time is more than like nine hours, that's generous, by the way. I could have said six, but I said nine. Nine is a lot. <laughs> that's a third of your... That's the amount of time like you need to sleep. If your screen time is longer than nine hours, you like are fucking like brain dead. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like you need help. Because, dude, think about it. Let's say you got 24 hours a day, but you're not awake for 24. You're awake for like 15, right? Yeah. And if you spend nine of that on your phone, multiply. So let's let's say like I don't know how to do math. 60 percent of your day. You you your don't know how, you don't know how to do math. I don't math anymore. Jeez, man. We've been through this. I don't do math anymore. Fuck, I've abs- I'm abstained from math. I'm You've waiting. abstained. I'm waiting until marriage with math. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The well, divorce papers I will do math on, and the marriage stuff. That's it though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah don't go on that much because that's like literally 60 percent of your life and like what it feels good though going on tiktok i go on tiktok on my laptop sometimes no <laughs> dude when you run out of screen time you go on tiktok on your laptop <laughs> yo bro sometimes you're such that's a you're a lost cause but i want to i'm doing it for like 10 minutes bro that doesn't matter bro it's your laptop and going you know on what TikTok. i do what i check my our views a lot Oh, like I'm talking about like a lot. Wait, how how often do you think? Am I inside? Am I in my house? You you spend the whole day inside. Once an hour. That's a lot. Yeah, it's so much. That's like it's, that's uh, not especially healthy. on the day I post. On a day we post, if I post on my own TikTok yeah. and I post in the beer sauce, dude, I'm on. I, I check like every thirty minutes. That's not good. I know. Why do you? If you know it's not good, why do you keep doing it? Feels good. No, it, dude. But we it don't feels... get that many views, bro. But we do only sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. sometimes I mean, our, dude. Okay, our views compared to like, actually, we're at an all time high right our now. Our views compared to two months ago. It's all about comparison. If you gave me one fry every day, but then you give me ten fries, oh, it's gonna ten, the fries. ten fries. Are gonna but the ten buy. fries are still like half of a small fries. Yeah. You oh know? my god. So you don't even know. I don't even. This know. is just the tip of the yeah. iceberg. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I mean, like comparing statistically, com- com- comparing it to the previous seasons big difference i think because we're now massive difference this is the last episode of season two by the way we um me and derek divide beer sauce into seasons so season one was the anniversary of beer sauce it was the first year season two was the second year and now this is the last episode of season two it's going to be airing on december 1st and then the next episode after this will be season three how do you feel by the way how do you feel about that two years of beer sauce two fucking years i'm just gonna no. How do I feel about? I feel like I don't know how I feel. You know why? This guy really likes you to know, suppress his emotions. You know how I? You know why I don't know how I feel? How? Because I'm just like thinking about it now. How I feel? Because I suppressed it for a year. How Jeez. do you feel? <laughs> I feel honestly like I think I think statistically we've had our ups and downs through season one. Our content was pretty minimal. yeah let's run through like the, our lives in the last two years since yeah okay so when you started beer sauce december that was the launch yeah december 20 it was the sem- i believe i re- released beer sauce, beer sauce on december 3rd but we started production in october yeah but what year that was two years ago yeah it was 2021 so or 2022 it was 20 i mean 2020 sorry it's 2021 i had just started my gap year yeah oh Dude, that was. <laughs> oh, he's reminiscing. He's reminiscing. I think this is hard. This is why I don't do like, no, but feelings dude, and stuff. Think about like, white it. People, no, bro. think about it. Think about it. Think about it. When you were, when you were, oh, because it's the glare. I don't the, like the glare. Yeah, the glare is fucked up. I can't even edit the glare out ah, of the post. Fuck it. Um, I like, dude. When you, when you, when we first started beer sauce, you were still wearing Air Force Ones though. Like your style was like worse. You, I think you've improved as a person. You're way more. Good I don't looking. think I've incru- improved as a person, dude. It's because. I don't know. I think you personally. I f- I feel like you've. Im- I think you've gone miles ahead of who you were before when we when we first started okay, this so, two years ago. Uh, because it, I was such a different person. I wouldn't say I necessarily improved, and I'll say why. Because I'm so cynical now, dude. Before I would go to Starbucks, right? And this is like this is like even the second year of beer sauce until mm-hmm. like 
until um I don't know, I went to school. Yeah. Right? I would go to Starbucks and I would do my little thing and I would act like an himbo and I'd be so happy and I'd walk in and I'd be like, Hey guys, I love you all. And I had so much happiness and I was so optimistic and I had nothing. I had no goals. Right. And when I say this, I mean this in a good thing. I had no goals. I had no priorities. I just went to work and dicked around. Right. Mm -hmm. That's all I did. Life was simple. I, I just went, I went somewhere. I trolled customers and I went home and I played Apex Legends. And I'm saying that in a good way. I liked playing Apex Legends, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you like gaming is that what you're just trying to are you just trying no, to tell me you want a game simple yeah. i'm saying it was simple yeah, i think you missed the simplicity I, we're still very young but i think you missed the simplicity of like childhood to be honest because let's be real yeah man no okay can i give you my my yeah, full take yeah. i'm about to ryan you oh, right now fuck. i'm about to ryan you yeah. okay i think um <clears throat> I think oh, your fuck. adult, your childhood. No, <laughs> oh. I'm gonna make you cry under this episode. By the way, your childhood was not simple. No, you were dealing with the fallout true. of your dad's death. Your mom was dealing with her shit with I was that, angry. and you were angry, Mad. and you were by yourself, and you dug yourself in this gigantic hole. I wasn't by myself. I had Roblox, bro. Yeah, but look what you were doing on Roblox. Yeah. You were being doing yeah. some crazy. You were promoting some crazy yeah, things. I was going like, how, 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 how. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Bro was going, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll. I was like, I mean, what what else are you supposed to do when your dad dies and you're 12? That's that Derek yeah. Zoo Rabbit, bro. Yeah. That's that Zoo yeah. Zoo Rabbit. Yeah. Um, but I think you just had no simplicity as a child. So when you found simplicity, you're supposed to experience that as a child. You're not yeah. supposed to experience it as, as an adult. Imagine a 30 year old who just had complete simplicity they're gonna have no challenges they're gonna have like yeah. they're not gonna with no challenges you can't get shit done bro to yeah. be honest so i think you just missed that simplicity and you never had that as a kid well it felt great yeah I, but I, I, I want more no but, okay well I, you might not be able to i won't until like until, until you're like I 60 retire. yeah whenever that is but you might not have simplicity for a long time. And I promise you, when you retire and you have simplicity, you're going to miss those days where you were like, dude, I remember waking up having depression and I like and I was just like fucking like everything was crazy. And I had to do so much work. So you're going to miss those so days. Shit never gets good. You're always going to miss. You're always going to miss the days in the past because yeah. you're going to reminisce. Right? I'm a big rose tinted glasses guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like one time I was at Disneyland. You were at Disneyland and I had a conniption fit in Disneyland. Just keep using new words. <laughs> it was the same word. But I had a conniption fit at Disneyland because I roasted the glasses. It was actually a real thing at Disneyland. It was like this big marketing thing where if you bought the fast pass, you bought the premium. Yeah. Like you could go into this premium gift shop, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like really, I wouldn't say spoiled by it. I couldn't control my anger as a kid. So like if I didn't get what I want, I would just cry. Yeah. And so I threw a conniption fit at Disneyland when I was like seven because they didn't have these glasses that said this thing on it. What thing? It was it was like poppin' bees. Wait. What wait, what's poppin' bees? <laughs> what's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sauce. My name is D R A K Z H U Derek Zoo. And my name is Nicholas Potsavat. Yo! Yeah. You had me. <laughs> you fully had me. Yeah. You fully <laughs> fucking my, had my me Disneyland on that conniption. one. <laughs> oh my god, you fully had me on that yep. one. For context, if you don't listen to past episodes of Beer Sauce, like... Rico like, does a thing where he makes up a story and then does the intro. You fully had me. Holy yeah. shit, bro. You had me that with that That was a fake one. conniption fit. Okay. My first conniption fit was real. Whatever the... I don't remember that the one. The Starbucks one? Yeah. Or I, well, I do. Okay. I think, like, you're always gonna pick, compare yourself to before I'm a big right? i think you're, i think you're a better person now yes, i don't think more, so i think you like being cynical isn't necessarily a bad thing depending on how you take it right like it's not necessarily an awful thing to be cynical you do have realism and feels, you have appreciation it feels worse well fuck being alive doesn't feel good bro yeah but it did <laughs> it used to yeah but fuck i can't even just disagree with you no but yeah i can't even it, argue against it it's just like the feeling like, I do agree, like, being cynical is not actually bad. Mm -hmm. I understand myself more. Yeah. Dude, let's, 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 be, let's be positive. Mm -hmm. I understand myself more. I understand what I want now. We'll yeah. get into that. But before, I felt better. Like, ever since the drowning episode, I feel like I've felt the same. Like, nothing's actually... Yeah, dude, the just... drowning episode was a really rough time for both of us. I was addicted to some crazy shit. Like, like, like shit was not okay. I was, I kind of feel the same. You know what's fucked up? What's up? We're doing a yearly reflection, but I was asleep half the year. 
So, like, I only kind of lived half a year. You only lived, like, 180 days. Yeah. Like, I was asleep the whole fucking time. Jesus, man. So, well, I mean, like, personally, for me, reflecting, like, I real, I think right now, like, when you come into adulthood, this is kind of the, the time where you change the most as a dude, person. You know, we're going to be 22. Yeah, fuck yeah. No. I'm fuck ready that. for it. I don't. What? No, it's You're not ready to be 22? No. Why? It's just too old. You think 22 is too old? No, it's just, well, yeah, but I'm, I want to be simplistic like I was 18 again. Fuck, you might, you I might have, like, never Peter, have, have it again. I have a Peter Pan Down syndrome, bro. <laughs> what the fuck you is know, Peter that's Pan the thing? Down syndrome? Like when people don't. I, can, I think you're trying to use too many words. You're getting yourself confused. You bro. know Peter Pan Down syndrome? No, what is that? It's like a, a Down syndrome where you feel like you want to be a kid again and you never want to grow up. It's like um, arrested development, basically. Yeah, I, I don't think Peter Pan is that a thing. Peter yes, Pan down. Yes, you know, he wants to be a kid the whole time. So you have Peter Pan down syndrome. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, so you just diagnose yourself. Yeah, that's valid. But, but like, what um, are you saying? No, dude. So like, I think we're in a time where we're changing so much, right? Yeah. So when I listen back to season episode, I used to think season one of Beer Sauce was quality. It, it, I was funny. You were hella bit. funny, but personally for me as a host, I was not a strong host. I, yeah. Me and you didn't like fully understand Podcasting. what it meant to make a podcast, yeah. the underlying themes of episodes. Why do we talk about the certain things we talk about, right? We didn't understand that. And I think that it definitely showed in the episodes. We were dicking around and we were having a hilarious time, yeah. but narratively judging them just on podcasts they were rambly as fuck that we didn't really have a vision mm -hmm. and i used to think i i think i still think some episodes in season one are hilarious but which ones i think raised by the internet is always such a funny episode it's i think it's the first good episode of beer sauce is episode i like five. the first ever one the first ever one is it, it's not good <laughs> but it's funny yeah um but like i think looking back on those i cringe like i can't even listen to them anymore they're so cringy wow but i don't i don't want to take them down because well don't take them down because it's a reflection on our lives they're also like i mean there's still content there yeah like i like <laughs> I, as, I mean obviously i'm i'm a roast in the glasses guy but i like those episodes yeah like, they're not very good podcast wise because mm -hmm. we said this last year and it's the sort of the same thing where we kind of just put um a mic in a room yeah. and we just talked like we were meeting up for like the that's first what we time were doing yeah. basically and and unlike now where we have a do yeah. google document full of ideas we have notes we have things that we prep for the episode yeah. and we put way more work into and it, it and it's sort shows. of more of like an act now yeah i don't know it's well, true well and, and an act it's not like we're being disingenuous no i'm like me still yeah we're still us but we, we, me and derek usually don't have these like conversations at the bar like we're probably talking about at the hockey. bar at the bar we're like yo like <laughs> this is how i jerked off last yeah, night this bro. Is, yeah i jerked somebody <laughs> off like this like that's what we talk about right that's the shit we talk about we don't really talk about like we beer episodes, episodes of beer sauce are kind of elevated conversations even if they're still brain dead when we're playing a stupid elevated ass conversation game. but also like it's a lot of it is like improv as well like a lot of the times i mean i mean i've been watching a lot of podcasts recently so like i kind of take notes from those podcasts and it's like how do i make this entertaining i'm trying to be entertaining whereas if we're at the bar i'm not trying to be entertaining i'm kind yeah. of just we're like, kind of just enjoying each other's yeah. um like yeah space and lives right yeah and um even in season two this is like the main reflection because and like even season two there were some really weak episodes in season two Ooh. like call them out oh i can't think of any you. specifically Yo, you, you did a bad job on beers. No. Um, but there were some we really weak yeah. episodes. Obviously, there were some bangers. I think the masturbation episode, classic. Um, it's really interesting because when I listen to back to episodes, I don't remember saying any of that stuff. Really? I remember each episode like inside and out. Wow. Also, I, I mean, I, you I, 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 I like, yeah. I don't remember. Like, it's basically like watching somebody that is very funny and similar to me, but it's not me. <laughs> so you just, you relate to them. Yeah. You relate to the person yeah. on beer sauce. Yeah. Um, but I think there were some duds in season two. We were still getting in the groove and we're like, we're always going to be improving. We're always yeah. going to be learning. But season two, I think we were still getting into the groove. Our, our content and like our specifically our like online presence was very weak, bro. Yeah. I mean, I've only really started acting in like the past two months when i say acting i'm not like dicaprio yeah but you know i'm what is it what is this what is this what am i doing elevating elevating my personality yeah and i i used to not do that and in season two i didn't really do that mm -hmm. I, I i took it as more of a an outlet where i can just be myself and i realized that 
it's not the case anymore. Well, you can still be. Dude, uh, yeah, I, no, we're, we're always ourselves. Yes, we don't want to make it sound like we're like yeah. faking. But it has to be elevated because. And what helped me a lot was the camera. Yeah. Because I can try to be elevated, but this is a reminder. Every time I look over there, I'm like, this is a show now. I'm like Jimmy Kimmel. I'm like Jimmy Fallon. I'm Jimmy Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're Jimmy Zoo. That's such a Chinese name, by the way. Jimmy Zoo. Oh, Jim. I've uh, definitely met a guy named Jimmy Zoo before. Yeah. There's a lot of Jimmy Asian dudes. Yeah. Or Billies. Uh, nah, nah. Not a lot of Billies. There's one Billy. Monk. Um. But no. Okay. I I totally see what you mean. It's it, it's it what it's elevated. It's not like I I don't know how to put it in a way that sounds good. It's not like we're not being ourselves. But it's just like, well, you think a stand up, okay, you know, you know how I actually want to word it. We have purpose with the episode now. We have purpose. We're not dicking around and talking about stupid shit anymore. We have a little bit. Well, still, sometimes we're always going to have those kind of episodes, right? It's hard to say what we're trying to say right now. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I think the bubble tea, I'm tripping on it or something. They put something in that. Yeah, too many tapioca pearls. But like, we have purpose in the episode now. We narratively, like, why do we want to talk about this? Whether it's funny, whether we want to get at something deeper. When before it was like, oh, hey, it would be really funny if like we talked about like me killing my fucking childhood turtle. That's still so funny. Still really funny. But Jesus I did care. do that. Yeah. But like, <laughs> but like that as an example, yeah, yeah, it's purpose. And I think it's now we're coming into the episode with a goal. I think what really changed it was you dropping out. Yeah. Me dropping out, I think, completely changed the way we yeah. look at beer sauce. Because before I do, because I, I, before we recorded this episode, me and you both had to scroll back all the content we made. Mm. We were uploading one TikTok every two weeks. Yeah. Just because we didn't have time. But also, like, it wasn't – it was sort of like a side gig. Yeah. Whereas I – I mean, starting in season two, I just, like – I mean, we, we were – first of all, we're going weekly. I don't know if you guys know that already. Oh, yeah. Maybe, well, let's announce it right now. Okay, fuck it. We're going weekly. Yeah. We're going weekly. You know why? Because – this is not a side gig anymore. But when we were uploading two TikToks a week, when I say side gig, I sound so business, bro. And I just need you guys to know that I'm not. Like, I'm a t- I'm Twinkie. I'm Twinkie. Twinkie, guys. Twinkie. He's Twinkie. Look at his shirt. Look at his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but it was sort of like, I was going to say side hustle, but that sounds worse. That, that sounds so, much, so worse. much worse. It was passion project. On the side. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have to put side. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not the burger. It's the fries. Mm-hmm. No, no. It's like the one fry. The it's one the fry every two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was on the side where it's like it's there, but I wasn't pursuing it as if I wanted this to be my job. Mm-hmm. And I want to make a career out of something media before, but before in December, up until honestly, up until three months ago when you dropped out, mm-hmm. I just thought I'd be like an investor for the rest of my life. I thought I'd just be like an investor, <laughs> a wolf of Wall Street. I thought I'd be like the chink of Wall Street, bro. <laughs> 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 That'd be me. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I mean, that was like what I was going to do. Yeah. And there's no passion in that. It's basically just what you do when you like have nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. Just become, <laughs> become the, become that of Wall Street, yeah. bro. Okay. I know. I see what you mean. Like, I definitely knew I always wanted to do this as soon as I listened to the first podcast ever when I was 15. I, what was it? I don't remember. Views? Maybe it was one of them. I used to, dude, I used to listen to so many podcasts. I had like seven podcasts. I would you just listen to them now. I can't as much as anymore because you have to listen to us. Yeah, I, I just have to listen to yourself. So you like, want to listen to bad friends? No, I I do when I can. Every once in a while, I will turn tune yeah. in a podcast. One of our um someone who listens to beer sauce, they actually sent me their podcast. I forgot what it was called. Woozy or some shit. Something like that. Woozy. Well, I don't want to accidentally expose her if she doesn't want to be said. I, I'm I don't I'm just I don't know. Oh, I just made a sound that was similar because I don't actually remember what it's called. Oh fuck! But yeah, they sent me their podcast. I listened to that, right? Like I listen to ep- podcast episodes when I can, but it's become much more irregular because I have to like focus on beer sauce and kind of like edit that and just listen to yeah. that. And it's good to listen to other podcasts to come up with no ideas. As an example, I think that was like one of the best things for for my character on here. I keep acting like I'm acting. Yeah, but I'm not. First of all, like I just, Derek I is like he was like he was like this like 30 minutes ago before the camera was on. Yeah, like, just I, I, just, I just it's I don't have a lot of vocabulary, so I keep saying. Yeah, that's why you're okay. trying to expand. That's why I'm, I keep saying conniption. <laughs> yeah, because you're trying to expand <laughs> your vocabulary. Um, one of the best things for how my like um, way that I articulate and like how charismatic I am on the on the cameras is. I started watching podcasts. Yeah. I never watched podcasts before. The only podcast I listened to was me, so I didn't know how to improve my persona on here. I didn't mm-hmm. know how to pr- like improve the way I spoke. I didn't know how to improve my improv, right? And 
once I started actually listening to other people's podcasts, I start thinking like, oh, I could say this, or I like when he really worked off of this prompt yeah. and I could really learn from that. And that's making my presence on here so much better. Whereas before I would just like watch Brooklyn nine, nine. And time. you just were Jake Peralta on beer sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Which was, I like that guy, but I think one of the best things for me was I started actually engaging in like the, um, the industry mm -hmm. and now I know more about it. Yeah. And now I can be my like better on here. You can be your better self, maybe. Instead of acting, exactly. you can be your better self. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, we we decided to go weekly. This is something we've actually talked about on Beer Sauce in the past. Um, And originally, I didn't want to go weekly right away because I didn't know how much... I didn't know what editing a video podcast was going to yeah. be like. I had no idea the the logistics of it, how much time it would take. Some podcast like the the Derek Gerard one that just published mm -hmm. today. I don't know what day it is. It's November 17th. That one took me like four hours to edit. I cut like 30 minutes of footage from it. But that's not that long. No, but like I didn't people... know that. I didn't know oh, that. Yeah. You know, like I didn't know how long they were going to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I have to go through it again and go through all these highlights and shit. And then, um, and then now I have a better grasp on what it actually means to edit a video. You're podcast. in like a flow. Yeah, you're in the flow of we're, short form. Yeah. I'm the flow of long form. Because whereas right like now. you kind of like didn't have steps, you kind of just did it. But now you probably have like steps like, oh, I have to do this yeah. first. Yeah, exactly. I Instead have a rhythm. About I have a rhythm yeah. now. Without right? the rhythm, you kind of just have to think and thinking about what you want to do and doing it in separate orders takes so much yeah, more time exactly. than being in a rhythm. Exactly. Yeah. And um, I needed to get into that rhythm. Now that we're in that rhythm, I feel comfortable with going weekly. It, me and Derek didn't just be like, oh, let's go weekly, bro. We won't yeah. run out of any ideas. We've planned a lot for season three. I'll never run out of ideas, though. Never will. Because I'm just... If I run out of ideas, like I'm just gonna go to downtown east side and like have something weird happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll man you'll manifest the story. Yeah. yeah. Um but now that we're in this rhythm, I think we 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 have that um readiness and that strength to go yeah. into week really really weekly releases. Cause I was always stressed because the first two seasons of Beer Sauce had only twenty six episodes. Mm -hmm. We're going from twenty six to fifty two. That can be a big jump. It is but a big I jump. think we're ready and for the, thing the jump. Is, Let's say we do miss an episode. Yeah. Big fucking deal. Yeah. You Don't know, shut the you fuck know what, up. You know what I've thought about? You know what you've helped me think about over yeah. like the past what? two years of doing beer sauce? Shit's like not that deep sometimes. I could be really stressed about something, but then I just go to East Hastings. I'll walk around, take a look around, and I'm, I realize how lucky I am, and I don't like, I'm like wow. I'm in a house. Yeah. Like, dude, I can walk over to this magical thing called a sink where clean water comes out of. Put my mouth under it. Just start drinking. Yeah. You know how fucking clutch that is? I don't have to go to a well and bring it back to my village on my yeah. head. Yeah. Like, I don't have to do that shit. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm really okay. So if we miss uh, an upload every once in a while, maybe we're sick. I don't know. One of us is in the shit hospital. Happens. If you get diagnosed with, like, cancer, right? Dude. But I wouldn't even miss an episode. Honestly, I would not miss an episode if I had cancer. <laughs> I would have to be in a coma. Okay, maybe you're in a coma, I should uh, say. You no, know what I mean? but okay, promise me right now, if I'm in a coma, you bring the cameras to my like hospital room and you do an episode and you just like randomly cut to me like lying down. I'm sick, please, please. No, I can be like, yo, so how's your day today? <laughs> and I'm just, just cut to you just beep, fucking sleeping. Beep, beep. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so funny. Okay, I got like, you. Use me for clout until okay. I wake up. What about if you die? I'm going to clout the shit out of your shit. How do I die? Uh, Gunshot. You killed with a gun. Oh, uh, and are you there? Yeah, are you die Take in my a video, arms? Bro. I bet for the story for the beer stuff story. No, we would get banned. Don't get banned. Oh, okay, but like, try not to get the fake, fake blood, fake body. Okay, but fake body. if I'm dying and like you take a video of me, like I will do a shout out as my last word, bro. <laughs> 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 no, I, I will. Don't, don't be like, be like, be like. I love my mom. How about be your last words, bro? Don't do. <laughs> Don't do, don't do that would, for your last No, words. but I would. You know I would. Yeah. Because that's so funny. I know you would do yeah. it. But I think what's really good is now you're solo editing um all the short form stuff. So everything you, everything you see on TikTok and Instagram, YouTube shorts, that's all Derek. And then everything you see YouTube, long form, baby. whether it's the clips, yeah. thumbnails, the actual episode, I edit that. And I think it's really good because we've trained our minds to think differently like we yeah. approach beer sauce differently i'm a clipper yeah you approach it through clips also i have adhd so it and, works well <laughs> and then i approach it through a long form because yeah. me and derek have had ideas for episodes before mm -hmm. and then derek's like dude i can't clip this and then i'm yeah. like oh fuck especially with high profile guests yeah like and, and then like as an example um i don't actually know um i don't want to leak it
Gabagoo. Because that might not happen. Hopefully, maybe. But um, like we wanted to have these really high profile guests on. And then I was like, dude, let's do this really cool idea. But mm-hmm. Derek's like, I can't clip this. Yeah. And I'm like, that's actually valid as fuck. So I think it's really good that we have this like genetic rhythm in between us where we where we're focused on different things because it elevates beer sauce or elevates is that elevates right? thank you elevates it to a higher level yeah i mean i think we work well together especially i mean it was so interesting listening back listening back because i listened to that um last night yeah because i wanted that you listen to the bias. season season two one finale yeah, season yeah, one finale. This is the season two finale. Because I'm a recency bias guy, so if I if I didn't listen to it last night, I would just forget. Yeah. But first of all, it's so funny. It's so funny that I said Pete Davidson in that. Mm-hmm. I didn't even mm-hmm. like Pete Davidson yet. And I was like, oh, I'm like, I like the I like foreshadowing Pete is crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Second, we did that episode with another guy. Juno. Rest in peace. Yeah, Juno hasn't been on the show for a really long time. It's not like we don't hang out with Juno. Juno's still one of our best friends. We see him as much as we can. But he's in school. He's in MOPA. It's a very busy program. He's like halfway across the country right now. So the amount of times that we get to see Juno is limited. Yeah. And the amount of times we get to record with Juno is just non-existent. Yeah. Because... I like Juno's type of character, though. You know Rudy from Bad Friends? Yeah, yeah. She says like three words. That's what that's Juno, Juno bro. Yeah. But the three words are always gas. And it could be not even funny, mm-hmm. but since it's them saying it, it's funny. I think Juno was like such a uh, he hope if you're watching, we love you, Juno. Um I wanna put my dick in that mouth. Um and Yo. um basically <laughs> Dude, you know what really got a lot of views? What? Like the fucking each other clips. People really want us to have sex. Dude, you know, I, I, someone offered to write us fan fiction and I would read it out on the show. El Pintor. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'll yes. make it happen. Yes. Okay, so I'll read out fan fiction. Yes. Us having sex. Yes. That's cool. Everything's cool with we that. We can do a gay sex episode. I'm down. 100K. Okay, well... I do. I like that. No, 10 million followers will do gay sex episode. Because that would make so much money. Yeah, it would. And we could charge like 10 bucks for it. Dude, you know what? When we get 10 million subscribers, we might be able to just fake it with AI. Yeah. We, we can, can hire a, a, um, a Latino guy and a, a Chinese guy. <laughs> I'm not even Latino. You know, a certified Latino woman said I look Latino. Because you look Latino. Do I really look like, dude, do I really look that Latino? Yeah. Do some Latino shit. I don't. What do Latinos do? <laughs> Let me in. I'm not going to do that. No, I can't do that. I can't do that shit. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Let's go next. What was I talking about? Juno. Oh, yeah. I think Juno had a huge elevation in beer sauce because he actually put us on video content. Beforehand, I was doing gaming clips with subtitles. Yeah. That's the most I could do at the time. That's all the reason. I was editing on my laptop. That's the most reason. You didn't even have a PC. Yeah, I didn't even have a PC. And then we moved into, and I'm, I said this last year. I'm still proud of this. The animation subtitles with the animated spacemen. That was fucking cool. I don't care what I, I know they got no views, but that was fucking cool. It was an original ass idea. That was fucking cool. Um, and then we started going into more video content. But I think the best way to sum up season two as a whole was kind of us throwing darts yeah. at a board and us guessing. I think we only landed like. Uh, two months ago yeah like the, the dart because mm-hmm. when we first started we were doing skill sauces remember those yeah we we tried we tried to make a new series called skill sauce mm-hmm. and in each episode we would um we would have uh like tried to learn a new skill like whether yeah. it was skateboarding playing music those were fun to film those were super it's fun it's just to film. there was no direction of like how can we make this actually get views yeah you know it was sort of like again side hustle thing where yeah this is on the side we start i started school when we started doing skill sauce i wasn't even dropped out yet yeah um and this was like a thing we did on the side that was funny and i wanted to be a youtuber but in the back of my head it was always just make videos and then make good quality but not actually try to market it yeah i think what we've started realizing is we it's a lot of um like about getting like viewers on podcasts is your ability to market your podcast, get people to actually look at you, get yeah. eyes on you. And I think what we landed on was using our faces because we're cute. Bro. We need to market <laughs> this guy. We need to fucking market this guy. And I think it was a really good idea. We had so many. We remember poo sauce. <laughs> remember poo sauce yeah. we tried doing poo sauce we, where we re- well, when we reviewed poutines yeah. um from different restaurants and we tried so many different we had i remember we had that david dobrik phase that's what i'm gonna call it the david dobrik phase this was when remember, we went to calgary 
That Calgary video you made is still amazing, you know what? by the way. It's That's still, still a good video. video, by the way. Such a good fucking video. But um we we had so many different we we had that David Dobrik phase. We were like, dude, have you ever tried pineapple on pizza before? Yeah. And now, I just that is a good way to put it now that I think yeah. about it. And we had that where every two weeks those videos were hard to make, by the way. Remember the when we put ice cream, chocolate ice cream and beans and we mixed them up. And then you like and I showered under it. And we put a camera up on my shower head and I would I poured the ice <laughs> yeah, cream well, beans why on you. Do that. Because it's it got it was, like no views. no, but it, dude, that's still so it's one of the funniest. Funny. Like I think if done. we repost that on our story, people would love it. Let's do it. Let's like, do it I after think that's, recording this. Those videos were funny, but they were sort of bits, right? Yeah, it wasn't about us, and we did a lot of clickbait content for a long time because mm-hmm. we had no direction. Well, we, dude, we used guys kissing <laughs> to keep people watching. That's how down bad we were. That was the thing at the time. Yeah, though. everyone was doing that. Like, remember the Subway Surfer thing? Remember the XQC Rocket League kissing guy, gay kissing? <laughs> That's where we got the idea from. No, but Subway Surfers on the bottom of your clips. I mean, it's still that was a meta thing, at the time, but it was so now meta it's before. GTA driving. Yeah, but that kind of shows that you need that to keep people entertained. We were doing clickbait, cl- clickbait clips for a long time, and I, I mean, I, w- I liked doing it because to me it wasn't like, oh, I want a career out of this. I, you know, I didn't want to work in the social media space. Yeah. I just wanted that short term fun hit of dopamine. That's mm-hmm. like, this is so fucking stupid. Oh, Anthony Fantano, <laughs> Anthony. That Fantano. was crazy that when that happened. Yeah. By the way, like Anthony Fantano duetted me. Like, and I was like, oh my god, this is so funny. People watch this, but it didn't keep fans. Yeah, people didn't like us. They liked the weird shit that we presented. Mm-hmm. And I think now we've we've like grown a our our community is still very small, but we've our community was is smaller now than it was. What do you mean last that? year? Our community, yeah, is smaller now. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Because I remember not verbatim, but um, it was something like along the lines of here you were like here are the people that i would consider core beer sauce and you said a bunch oh of i meant like our like like listeners listeners oh, wise oh i thought like you meant wise. like no i totally let's talk I about, let's touch on that in a bit but yeah. listener wise we had like what 200 downloads when season one ended on i think it was december 3rd we had an average of 280 downloads now i did math for this oh on my average God. and i don't do math i'm only half asian it's really hard for me out here yeah. guys right because germans don't do math no we do other stuff we do a lot of bad things a lot of bad things. a lot of other things and, and my lao side we we climb things <laughs> yeah. we don't we don't do math you know same with latino bro yeah <laughs> <laughs> so my all my genetics not good for math <laughs> um and so including YouTube downloads or YouTube listens, sorry, like YouTube streams, Spotify well, you, streams. You got a minus 50 views from each episode because that was me. You watched bad, it bro. 50 times? I just go on. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, it's like, it's just about over 2,000 month. monthly Crazy. downloads. Crazy. That's this insane. Is, it's insane. But guess what? Next year? Hey, okay. Well, dear yeah. future me, I hope that you actually um are better and i hope you didn't go continue on this path of like cynical thinking because there's a point where you got to stop but if you have more than ten thousand monthly downloads then you're doing great and i don't give a shit you could do meth and i would be proud of you but (laughs) damn dear future me yeah i hope you look back at me and cringe because that means i've gotten that's good that means i've gotten way better yeah um and that, that i think that number of 2000 compared to 280 is fucking unreal shout out to the library show yeah when did those that. release august was that when the li- that library show came out i think it was august or july i i the summer is the same month i summer. think i think it was mid early to mid august yeah. because we recorded that library show in like june yeah, they didn't release for to, the longest. We had time. to re-record as well. Yeah, we recorded two episodes, but the camera was out of focus yeah. for the whole time, so we the, had to record it. The problem it again. with that was we didn't capitalize off of it because we still weren't taking beer sauce very seriously. Yeah, our podcasts have always been serious, mm-hmm. but the marketing side of it we didn't take seriously. So yeah. when those dropped, we didn't any we didn't make any new TikToks or anything because yeah. we weren't doing video. So mm-hmm. every time we had to, we wanted to do like video TikToks, we would have to like film it complete separate set of clips oh yeah whenever we didn't have cameras before whenever we whenever we wanted to record video yeah. we had to set up derek's fucking phone yeah and then talk for like 15 minutes and then cut that up in yeah the clips. i mean b- before we would do like the gay men kissing randomly clips yeah 
and then we would do sort of bait clips like the pineapple and pizza david Dobrik clips right mm-hmm. and then we sort of went to like actually more serious clips of like um we should make a music video and then we made a music video yeah right but those weren't part of the podcast and also those took long to do those were of. really hard because to it was like make. we should make a music video we and then we would have to, to go make a music video yeah, we actually had to go and do it yeah so it was really hard so it took a long time to do these things yeah um and it wasn't very tiktok like they were you know? uh, honestly i think we were trying to put long form content into a short form video yeah. and it just didn't work no those were not for tiktok yeah so i think that was the problem where i mean there would be like two minute videos and there's not very big market for that podcast wise, you know. So that was the mistake we made. And when we did the library show, we were still making those long form videos, and we would pump one out like once every two weeks. Because yeah, they were hard to make. So and then we after doing beer sauce as well as we were working. Yeah, it was like it was really fucking hard. We were yeah we did we did also did work at that company that I'm not gonna give free clout to yeah um <laughs> me and Derek actually we worked as video editors we don't work for that company anymore we got laid off um so I'm looking for a job I might have to work hire this guy I'm I, right now I'm I'm in tune to work as a dishwasher if I'm that down bad like I have a job ready to work as a dishwasher in December Ooh, I really don't are, want that, to that's hard work dude. yeah I really don't want to do it but like I'm down bad like my like I like I like I don't have money type shit. So Dude, like I might have to work at um a thrift store. I'm trying to. Oh, I that would be your thing. You would fuck bitches, bro. Dude, dude, you would. I would. <laughs> you would have sex with girls like on thrift store floor. You think so? Like, you think I'm the, like that? Yeah. Okay, valid. Because, dude, you're the guy. What do you mean I'm the guy? Dude, people would go to the thrift store just for you if you worked at the thrift store. What do you mean by that? Like the alt girls, man. Oh, you'd just be like hinge in real life if you worked at a thrift store. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, what I was saying was we didn't catalyze it because we weren't posting TikToks when we got lo- like um, mm-hmm. the library show launched. So we could have had so many more followers. I don't regret or anything. We just didn't. We weren't that focused on beer sauce. But after you drop out, it's such a different yeah. game now. I see this as a potential career. You know what I've noticed though. You know what I've noticed is even though we didn't really capitalize on that library show, which is unfortunate. It's it's we unfortunate. still have a community. Every our podcast spiked, right at the time we were maybe averaging maybe like we were averaging so similar we were averaging like 300 monthly downloads yeah and then we fucking spiked out of nowhere and then we hit like 2000 it never went it never went down it never dipped everyone that checked out beer sauce stayed yeah i think that's the positive from it is yes we could have done a way better job of capitalizing off it we weren't ready for that right we didn't know we i honestly had no idea that that library show would be as big as it was no it was fucking huge now it's too big for us we can't even go back on bro. yeah like I, I i it was it's fucking humongous right it's so big like my mom knows about it yeah my mom wants to meet him i was like dude he's coming over my mom was like oh like fuck like dude Derek, you should fuck my mom dude yeah you like, should <laughs> <laughs> you got perms you got my perms dad, you got perms. My dad, be my dad. <laughs> <laughs> but um like we we weren't ready for that um and but everyone that stayed everyone yeah. that actually legitimately checked out beer sauce gave it a go stayed the numbers never dipped yeah and i think that's the highlight from it i think because a lot of the times well, i hear you say this it's like oh we've been doing beer sauce for two years and we haven't really gotten that many views on tiktok but we haven't been doing tiktok for two years because like when you have that narrative oh we're doing this for two years and we haven't even gone successful nobody just finds beer sauce on spotify they have to find it through social media but we've only been consistently posting on tiktok for like two months and for the two months that we've been doing it i would say it's pretty fucking successful man we've hit 100k like five times on on tiktoks yeah right the instagram fuck it we don't have instagram reels algorithm oh yeah but instagram the TikToks, reels is right now like our average views are like five thousand to tiktok for consistently posting for only two to three months that is pretty good man that's pretty good i'm gonna take it as a win that's i'm gonna take it as a huge win you've been grinding the fuck out of tiktok also yeah. your replies to all the comments are so funny they're the funniest i try to reply to a lot of the comments but sometimes I'm, like, what do you mean no, just like as an example on YouTube Shorts, oh, if someone fuck flames you. us, you flame them right back, and yeah. it's the funniest shit ever. Hey, dude, well, because you, I feel like if you throw a punch, you have to expect to get that punch thrown back at you, and I'm gonna throw that back at you, and I'm gonna call you ugly, and he's gonna hurt. Ugly. He's gonna make it hurt. <laughs> he's gonna make that punch fucking hurt. Because don't don't be mean on the internet if you're ugly. I just don't like, don't be super mean on the internet in general. But if you're gonna do it, be attractive. <laughs> 
Yeah. No, like, <laughs> because if, your logic makes sense as, as crazy as it is. It makes Because sense. if, like, I, if I make fun of a personality trait of you, you mm-hmm. can just go change it. Yeah. What are you going to do? Can't Get make, on make ugly? change how you look. So, like, if you flame us on YouTube shorts, and this only happens on YouTube. Yeah, every no one on YouTube shorts fucks with us, bro. But they're always, like, these ugly ass, like, white dudes. Yeah. From, I, like, Nevada. I've said this before. I'm glad the community we've cultivated, it reflects who we are yeah. as people. The people that actually listen to Beer Sauce is, is like, you're similar to us. Dude, I, there was this comment on them. I just posted a TikTok of you saying that you don't want to have kids and that if you have a kid and your life is shit and you have trauma, you shouldn't have a kid. And this lady, she was like, she commented and she follows Beer Sauce and she said your name, which means she knows who you, your name and knows who you are and potentially listens. She was like, I have a biological son and step and step kids and i'm like you have kids and you like us that's like, crazy I, I didn't know that i was funny to like that well, i didn't know well, i was funny I, I to a wide comedy range is of people. comedy is a universal thing obviously there are some like gen z comedy that just my yeah. mom just would not understand rizzler but, like yeah my mom would Skibbity. never i don't <laughs> like, get that yeah i don't i think that's the point i am your mom me and your mom wouldn't get that yeah so you 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 know you you are my mom, yep. kind of. You breastfeed me, dude. I want breast milk. I want breast milk no, as well, breast milk. bro. Like, why not? Like if I if there was a cup of breast milk, I would just I would drink it. Nothing's wrong with having breast milk. Nothing's wrong. I saw a woman breastfeeding at the mall. Oh, dude, I see women breastfeeding all the time. Out of out of politeness, I only look for about two seconds and yeah. then I look. No, because I had because no like. I gotta look. Yeah. Not at the breast, not because the titties out. I'm not yeah. like horny and down bad like a little 14 year old. I just want to see the the, the the experience of life. Have you a... seen breast milk porn? Like where they squirt the breast milk in the porn? I've never seen the corn. That. Corn. I've never seen that before. What the fuck? Well, some guys get turned on by like when it starts squirting out. I don't get some fetishes. Yeah, I'm I mean, sorry. I'm sorry. Like I, you, whatever you like, as long as it's as long as you're being safe, as long as you're being respectful of the people yeah. that you're doing with doing it with, so valid. Do whatever you want. But like I like as an example, like falling down the stairs. I just will never understand why that's a sexual. What people like falling downstairs and jerking off. They like like the feeling. That's no. That's you just made that up. I swear to God. No, look it up later. Look it up. I don't. You know, if you don't... if you jerk to it, let me know. Let me know like if it's this? gas. Yeah, <laughs> that's no one will understand where that. Oh, we can't even explain the bit too because we'd, we'd be exposing someone. Yeah, I'll but, tell you this though. What's up? The, you know the leather man from Pulp Fiction. The leather man, like in Pulp Fiction, when they're stuck, they're trapped in the basement. There's a guy. Oh yeah, 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 full, yeah. Full leather. Yeah. That's like a kink. Like full leather. I don't like leather. I don't like that. It's it's scary to me. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm like it's not like I'm trying to shame. Like it genuinely is frightening. Yeah. And here's the thing that if as long as the leather man is with other leather people, he he every they're all being safe. Valid. Yeah. You know. But I don't like you, people That's, get turned on by <laughs> getting sting by bees. It's like when Pierce dressed up as the leather man in Community for Albert's birthday. <laughs> what the? He did a Pulp Fiction birthday. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. forgot about yeah. that. I'll tell you this. I was gonna say this. I was embarrassed of beer sauce for a long time. Boom bomb i i like that doesn't even i can see why at the time like that like up until like three months ago up whoa i didn't know it was that recent you were embarrassed of beer sauce like what do you mean by embarrassed like you didn't want to talk about it yeah I didn't, I didn't really tell anybody mm-hmm. it's because we didn't really try yeah i'm like one I of those guys that's like you know how like when Derek was like, I really like making bracelets for like a week and then I stopped. Mm-hmm. But like when he was making the bracelets, he tried really hard. Yeah. That's me. I think that's like an autistic trait. What's that acoustic thing on TikTok, dude? I think it's people saying autistic, but they just change it for acoustic. No, yeah, but why is it like, why is, ev- why, why is everyone saying it? like, well, I don't know. Because it's like, I guess more politically correct or something. I don't Somebody- know. I don't it's Gen know. Z humor. Hey man, I will. I think it's like an autistic trait or some shit. And, yeah. But. You kind of just get really, really. First of all, I'm not self diagnosing. I don't know if I just. It's it's funny to me. I'm well, sorry. Well, you do, you do have it, man. <laughs> he, he says. He, he says he I have it. And he's smart. Yeah, I'm a smart but guy. But I like. I, I really like perfecting things that I do, and I I get really obsessed with something, and like for like however long I'm obsessed, I try the hardest I can, and since I wasn't trying the hardest I can with beer sauce, I was kind of ashamed about it. Okay. No, I can totally see where you come from. Yeah. Were you like Were you like expecting that to like hurt me in a way? No, I just thought that that's very interesting because we did this for a long time. Even when I was on the library show, like beer sauce to me, since I wasn't trying my hardest, 
I didn't, I was kind of ashamed of it. And we weren't pumping out content that I was very proud of because it wasn't us. I was proud. I've always been proud of the podcast. Oh yeah. I'm talking because I'm a clipper. I'm yeah. A clipper. Yeah. I think, I think you're just so focused on like, I've, I've, I like, it's not, I'm even now I can, I'm not embarrassed of beer sauce, but it's always very interesting to tell people about it. Oh, now I'm not embarrassed because we actually have fans. Yeah, we actually like do supporters. Yeah. Fans is weird. I don't like the word fans. Yeah. But so like listeners. Yeah, listeners. Yeah. But um I, I I was never embarrassed of your sauce, but it's always weird to like it is weird. Be like, Yo, I have a podcast. It's still weird now. I don't I think it'll stop being weird when we're like famous, if we ever get famous. No, uh yeah, hopefully. Because before we were kind of like we were we didn't have that many followers, we didn't have that many listeners, but we did it for a long time. So it was kind of embarrassing, like, hey, like I wasn't going to tell anybody unless they brought it up, you yeah. know? And the content on the podcast has always been good. Mm -hmm. But you don't see that from the outside unless you're consuming it. What you see on the external standpoint of like, oh, these guys have a beer sauce a podcast. <laughs> yeah. I'm, these I guys, just, we have a beer we sauce. We have a beer sauce. <laughs> yeah. I have a podcast. Is you see the, the social media. And I wasn't proud of that. And I think what made me actually finally proud of beer sauce is when we started being ourselves. We weren't clipping tiktoks for like views or short term like we are ourselves on our tiktok now we talk about a lot of our experiences we have and that's us and now people listen to us because they like us and not the crazy shit that we like randomly pour beans on each other with you know you know no lie i had three drinks bro go i pee. might have to go pee and we gotta restart these anyway <laughs> fuck let's take a pee break ah! back from pee break back from pee i break. just peed and it was a lot and it was white that's good. Yeah. That's really I good. I thought I was peeing cum for a sec. Dude. One time. Oh, God. What up? <laughs> you know my squirting story? You want to tell that on here? I, no details. One time I squirted. <laughs> That's so like. No, you, but you know what makes it more impressive? What? Is you just came and then you squirted. Yeah. That, like so I, I got reminded because i've you, always wanted to talk about that on this show i'm so glad you talked i'm so glad you brought guys, that up guys you can squirt <laughs> you know, that's why we keep doing this no yeah if you do wait that's why she's that's so why she does it because she's you could dude i'm I th it might just be a foreskin thing. I really want to squirt so i'm so sorry no, if but you're white and how don't far, have your skin how far did you squirt now it wasn't about how far. It was like a lot. Like probably. <laughs> no, like, was, it, was it like pee? What? What was it? Like what was the liquid? I don't know. It didn't smell Did like. Did you pee. smell it? Yeah, I smelled it. Cause I thought I peed. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was squirt. <laughs> like, I think. I don't think. I don't think it was pee or or semen. I think it was squirt. <laughs> There's like another liquid. There's another tank. Dude, like you, they need to like go get the periodic table and like, <laughs> like, like they gotta element. put they gotta put SQ for squirt, bro. <laughs> Wait, dude, I've always wanted you to talk about this. I've wanted to talk about it so many times. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, Cause I got reminded. Cause you said you peed. Yeah. Like I peed cum. Yeah. You actually how much? Wait, like how much squirt? Could you fill up a glass of water? No. I'm saying Could like, you like fill up my mouth with it. Yeah. No, yeah, like into where, where no, my no, 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 are no, no. I'm I'm going like maybe I don't know. Like why did I use my mouth as an analogy? Like maybe that much. That much. <laughs> so much squirt. No, no, no. I'm gonna Dude, that's so much squirt. That much, that's a that lot much, of that much squirt. squirt. <laughs> that's a lot of squirt. Dude, that's a lot like, of No, but like, imagine come like imagine finishing yeah. twice in a row. I, like back to back, crazy. That's there's what there's only like. a limited amount of men on the planet of Earth I can do that. Well, I think it's a four, dude. If you have foreskin, this is why. Like, I don't believe you should chop foreskin off. Like, it's just bad, dude. Like, it's supposed to be there. Yeah. All why, right? Like, why the fuck is it? It's there. And for you a can't reason. squirt without it. Yeah. I mean, I can't squirt, and I do have a foreskin. There's a lot of dudes that hate on guys with foreskin. Yeah, what? Why can't I just be me? You know, like, like, uh, like there's like, you know, ninety percent of the world of like ninety percent of men have foreskin. But it's also like that's such a weird thing to hate somebody for. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you're like a, a bad person, I'll flame you. But foreskin? It wasn't even my call. I know. It wasn't. Even, you know what? If we hit like, if we hit like a million, no, if we hit like a certain number, I'll, I'll, I swear to God, I'll get my, I'll get. You'll squirt. No, I can't. For a beer sauce. I, I, I'll like, I'll get my foreskin chopped off. 
No. It has to be an absurd number, though. How much would you do that for? I would do it like money wise or like, like, no, I'm talking if we got or, like 50,000 monthly downloads in like the next year, then I'd do it. Okay, but how, yeah, no, I think. And I then would I would too. sell it. No, but dude, foreskin is so valuable, but you don't need it. I can always get reattached. Like you could, like, I would rather lose my foreskin than like a kidney. Actually, no, I wouldn't. No, Ooh, kidneys, are important. Even, kidneys are more How important. much could you sell a foreskin for? Like, Well, yours? Probably a lot. It's cheesy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're Dude, I was kidding. cheesy for a long time. I'm not going to lie. What do you mean by like cheesy? Like, when I was a kid, because nobody told me. Yeah? Because the no dad debuff. Mm -hmm. So nobody told me I had to, like, roll it back and clean it. So, like, I was cheesy in, like, eighth grade, even. Oh, my like, God. Do grade. you have a photo of it? I want to see. No. I, I'm so curious to, like, why cheesy, like... Like, how evident was the cheese on the dick? Well, I didn't know that you could pull your foreskin back that far. It, it always hurt for a long time. It hurt yeah. until I was, like, 14. Dude, it hurt for me until I was, like, 16. Yeah. Like, it hurts now my, sometimes. When my tip would touch my jeans, I would get in so much pain. Oh, yeah. Because it's mine sensitive. wouldn't retract for, like, until I was, like, 15, mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. So, this is just weird, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm blaming. Well, this isn't our fault, though. No, no, it's like not. nobody told me I had to roll it back. You didn't have a dad to tell I didn't you. Have a dad. You didn't have a dad. What was my mom gonna do? Tell me. She, she, she should have. She squirted. Yeah. That's what your mom's gonna do. What the fuck? Dude, wait, what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> no, that's payback. A couple episodes when you told uh, you. Oh, if your mom sent you uh, a titty picture, pics, titty yeah, pics. that's payback. We're even now. <laughs> you know, your mom sent titty pics before, though. Probably. I want to think about that. What? How? What did they? I, you know what they used to do? They probably used to like Polaroid them and send them off <laughs> on, in a pigeon. Why do you think so about that? So if you this? shot a pigeon like in the 1970s, there's going to be nudes no. in the... Why do you think about this? Why are you thinking about that? What kind of brain does that? Dude, An mine. acoustic one, bro. I don't I don't just say autistic, bro. It's not offensive. Like, Fuck. Like, I have brain damage. I don't even have... Oh, yeah, you do. Dude, there's that. something wrong. I, oh, one thing that has changed in the past year is I, like, got so much more stupid, dude. Are you sure? Dude, I remember... Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to go through my notes. I just saw... When we did last year's reflection, I just started ADHD <clears throat> meds. Remember that? I remember jogging to get your meds with you. We yeah. were juno we jog. Yeah. I remember. I took remember a video of you popping that. a perk, dude. First ever perk. First perk, bro. I remember that. That's... That, was, that feels like so long ago dude it feels like so fucking long ago that we did that you're uh, off the meds now it was so long but it was also so not long it just feels long i don't know why it feels so long maybe because like white way dicks different. dude like white dicks yeah they feel long but they're not long yeah oh shit from my experience what do you mean your experience from my experience that's what oh you've just like. been jerking off a lot of white dicks recently yeah. No, fuck. No. They um, call me the squirter on um the streets. Oh, shit. Because if you want to squirt, you go to me. You go to you? Oh, fuck. Okay, well, maybe after this. Yeah. I got to check out why everyone's getting And Marlon Brando plays me in the movie. <laughs> the <laughs> squirter. The squirter. Um, but, like, what was I, what was I fucking saying? Well, I just started my... I just popped a perk oh, for the yeah. first time. You know what? I, I, I don't regret it, but it just... the The end result of that was obviously knowing that they don't work for me, but also, mm -hmm. like, a rash on my back that is scarred. Yeah, you ha still have scars on your back from rashes, huh? That's yep. crazy, dude. That's yeah. fucking crazy. Like, I can't... That seems... I wish... Oh, my God, dude. I would get my foreskin chopped off for ADHD meds to work for me. <laughs> really? Yeah. I wouldn't change you, though, but I also don't want to... I don't know what it's like to live your life. Like, it might be... It must be, dude, like, fucking difficult. I fucking... I mean, ever since the drowning episode, shout out if you've been here since that episode. The drowning episode was the heaviest episode, episode we've done. We were not okay when we filmed yeah. that. We were I, really not okay. I feel the same way. I just am more motivated with beer sauce, but the feeling of content... Or the lack of content in life is the same. Like, really? Yeah. I don't, I don't really have... I mean, life is so much more dull than it was before. Ever since I went to school. So this whole season two was dull as fuck for me. I'm not going to lie. Like the year, yeah. just reflection of the year? Jesus, yeah. man. I feel like it's the most we've ever done. Like we have the most insane fucking stories from what happened this yeah, year. Yeah, I think I'm just a simplistic guy. Like I think... My peak life is I just work at a cafe and that's it. But that's not how I think I would regret that always, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like I want to achieve so much, but 
It's not making my life better. And what? We hit 3 million subscribers and we're just depressed like fucking Derek Gerard. Well, I sorry, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I see where you're coming from. Like I think it's good that you're realizing this now cuz you check statistics like every oh, fucking hour, yeah. right? But then I think you're contradicting yourself almost. Like maybe you just have to be okay like I don't know. I have no fucking idea. Well, I think I mean, I'm one of my problems is I'm exhausted. Like I woke up. Yeah, you sleep when, like when did we meet? Today. When did we meet today? 3? Yeah, two. I fucking woke up at like two. Jesus Christ! What time did you go to bed at? Like three. The thing is, you I wake up like eleven hours. I, no, I wake up. I feed my cat. I watch like a documentary, and I go back to bed. <clears throat> and like, I have no motivation to do anything. Like, I do things because I have to do them, not because I want to do them. Like, if my peak life is, I just sit and just dick around and go to Starbucks. Fuck. So you lived your peak. You peaked already. I feel like I, mean, I did, dude. dude. I, I think you're still so young. Like, you know do not peak. know what the future holds. You might peak when you have a fucking kid. You might love that kid so much, and you'll peak then, bro. Yeah, I will love my like, kid. Like, you have no kids. idea what the future holds. You're like a fifth through your life, I know. bro. You're only a fifth through. All I know is feeling-wise right now, like, there's not much going well, you, on. Well, you always have to have your downs, have your ups. And, like, we do so much cool stuff. Yeah. So much cool stuff. But my problem is perception and not reality. I'm delusional. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm delusional. <laughs> and I live in this world of delusion now that wasn't there a year ago. What, a year ha- ago, what, made, it, what made it form? I couldn't. Well, I, it was a coping mechanism. Yeah. Where a year ago, I dropped out and I would do like five hours of editing a day. No, a week, not a day. That's A day is a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that was a lot. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I would do a five hours of editing a week and I'd be exhausted and I wouldn't do anything. I would sit in bed all day and I would try like all these medications that would just make me mad. And the difference between that and now is I needed values to get me out of bed. Right. So now I have these set of values about like how nothing matters and all that stuff. And it gets me out of bed and it gets me to do this. And I'm motivated about this. But that peaks at a certain point. Whereas you know what is the best mindset? Life is good and like I love everybody, but I can't reach that. You know how many people? Such a limited amount of people actually feel that way, dude. Most it's it's hard for most people to get out of bed in the morning. It's hard. Like I'm like it's it's hard for me, including maybe like like ninety five percent of people watching this. It's probably really hard. That's for you so to get out bullshit. Of bed in the fucking morning. They should just you know what I should do? Just sleep on the ground. That's a bad idea. You fucking get a back pain. Dude. If I have a bad bed, I'm not gonna because I'm in bed all. I'm exhausted. All the time. Maybe, okay, maybe Exhausted. you need to sleep on the ground. Because you have to go to these extreme measures, like setting 10-minute time limits on your phone. Maybe you actually need a lot to of sleep measures. on the ground. Yeah, I mean, one of my extreme measures, because, I mean, this has been a year of, like, self-improvement for me. Yeah. I feel like. Um, well, I, I think could... you're coming, I think you're coming into yourself. Like, like we're definitely coming into ourselves. You had no idea, like, a year ago that you wanted to pursue. That's true. Like, editing this kind of career path yeah right like your 15 year old self could never it is nice to have like a sense of career now yeah and what i want to pursue <clears throat> the difference between me and now because before i was so okay with just being lazy yeah and doing nothing and i'm still just as lazy maybe even more but now that i'm pushing myself to do things it makes me so exhausted i don't eat breakfast in the morning if my mom didn't make it i'm like a man child still don't don't hate me but <laughs> if I, my mom doesn't make me breakfast i don't eat because i know that if i eat and I shower and I get ready. I'm exhausted already. I have to take Maybe these you have, measures. You have depression. I don't want to like. I don't, don't want to like. Fucking know. I don't want to like diagnose you. Like you have to go to healthy gamer GG for that. Shout out. But like, do you think you like? There's something. But you I need felt like to... this for so long. Yeah, and there's I think, nothing. Like... I think it's depression, bro, or something. I don't know. Yeah, but it's like it's like mild enough where I'm not gonna go jump off a building, so I don't really want to do anything about it. Well, maybe not everyone who's depressed wants to kill themselves. Yeah, I'm functional, but. Is that is that the is that how you want your to reflect on your life though? No, I'm thinking that when I hit a million subscribers, I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up. But I know that's told not, so many times. That I know that's, that's not, not how it works. And I the thing is, if we didn't meet all these creators mm-hmm. this year, we got to talk about that. Yeah. Holy shit! Mm-hmm. If I didn't meet all these creators this year that told me that numbers don't actually mean anything when you do make it, I would have thought that. Yeah. So th- now that I know, and I do n- know that I need that fulfillment somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. I think I do need therapy, though. But I'm too tired to do it, dude. 
that's that paradox, bro. Like, if you go back in time to kill your granddad, are you alive? Yeah, I don't. Oh my god. How do god. I go to therapy if I'm exhausted? I think you, you, you need to, you need to be ready to go to therapy. I don't know. Maybe I'm not, dude. maybe you need some sort of wake up call. Yeah, I need like, my mom to die. Yeah, I think I think it's time for her to go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that would be. I need. I do need a wake up call. Like, I need something bad to happen to me. Like, like I need. So this this season, season three, you want something bad to happen. Make it happen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, someone dox me. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's so easy. Probably. Don't do that. But because I maybe a little something a little bad, like yeah. a little bit bad. Hit me with a ooh. What's like something? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have like a conniption fit in public, and it's gonna go viral. <laughs> <laughs> you're so smart these days, yeah. bro. I don't even know what you're talking about half the yeah. time. But we met so many creators this year. Yeah, it's been great. I feel like it's been motivating. It season two been. is when we got our. Sh- we've been getting our shit together. I think season one was like, let's try this out. Yeah. Season two was, oh, we're the having path. fun. Yeah. But we're starting to get it together. I think th- season three is like, okay, we're it's time to right actually now, switch we're, it on. We're shit. We're shitting. It's funny. It's funny we're that it took us. Shit. It's it's funny that it took us two years to get our shit together. That's a bit. That's a bit wild. I mean, yeah, but. If you told me that this would be a career path I would want to pursue, I would have done it. I just didn't know that until now. Now yeah. that I know that, I can get my shit together. But before, I just wanted to be a troll. Yeah, know? I mean, it's always been. I think beer sauce is consi- I think beer sauce has almost gotten more fun. Yeah, since we first started, it has gotten it's more gotten fun. more. I mean, fun. it's more fulfilling. One hundred percent. Well, how do you feel you've changed as a person since last year? I'm fucking. I was a bitch last year. Because we talked about a lot of you for the podcast. Have you changed? How we our goals have changed? But how about you as a person? Um, I think okay. As a person, I was a bitch last year. No lie. I was even a bitchier person the year before. Bro, was you were a bitch yesterday? And I'm gonna be. I was a bitch yesterday. Yeah. Next year, I'll still be a bitch. But I like. Maybe I, that's just a you thing, dude. No, Maybe se- you're just a bitch. Season one, I think the like season one, I was like, I was like spastic. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And you, you like, talked like fast. Yeah, like that Is last that... that season one, I was so spastic. Season two, I was self conscious. I was um, imposter syndrome ish. Oh, that's the right word. I definitely. Why? I don't. I don't think I have a right to like do this sometimes to be what? honest i don't know i don't know like something is definitely like i, I, mean, I had right. confidence issues we had a whole episode dedicated to like our deepest um flaws that we feel like we have yeah right like you or, feel like you, you have imposter syndrome a little bit sometimes every once in a while dude sometimes like holy shit like you like for for beer sauce yeah or just in life in general right like i worked as a video editor and i don't even think now i don't even think i'm that good of a video editor i'm probably the one of the weaker video editors in the video editor friend group circle um and it's just like i like i was like wow i can't believe i worked that job i can't believe like i got paid for that um and i think season two i was so much more self-conscious i was always i've always been unsure of myself but season two was so prominent where i was like oh my god i'm unsure of myself i'm unsure of myself i have so much to thank you for because You've made me like, I think your black and white filter. What's the word you used before? Um, like your view on Ooh, life, uh, cynical. Yeah, but in this case, I wouldn't use. I would say, um, oh, you know when it's there, like on your. It's, it's like, on the tip of your. It's dick. sort of like there's a right way to do it, and there's wrong ways to do it, and there's only one right way and nine million wrong ways. That's how I think. Yeah, sort yeah. of. So black and white, but like the white one of them is like really large. Yeah, like yeah. the and I think that view really helped me because it's putting it under option one. Oh, you can be a bitch about it and cry, or yeah. you can just deal with it. Yeah, those kind of two options. And putting that on me, that doesn't work for everyone. It doesn't work for a lot of people. I can totally acknowledge that. But the way my mind works and how fast it is when it comes to anxiety, when it comes to um going down and like uh stabbing yourself. And you and now you now you kind of were like, yo, you can either do that or like not. And I just I choose not to. See, guys, anymore. I'm always right. I, he is always. <laughs> dude, you've never been wrong about something, by the way. Everything you say, you've is, never been wrong. It's really bro. funny because I do believe that, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Well, it, it's worked for me. And now, like, dude, remember, like, I was such a bitch, dude. Oh my god, I constantly, I didn't need like reassurance. I don't know what the word is. Like reassurance in a way like um reassurance sounds yeah, I mean, right but like it it was like i was such a bitch before like now i'm not give a, me an example like um, when the when you made me like when, am i recording am i recording when you would always ask yeah, that yeah 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 like now it's still in my head but it's not as bad and yeah. i can deal with it um or like 
One time my professor sent me an email and he sounded rude and I was with you. I was like, dude, what does he mean by this? <laughs> yeah. And like, you were like, you were like, how old is he? I'm like, he's like 60. And you're like, yeah, dude, he's a fucking six year old. Of course, he's going to email like that. Right. Like you put everything under this, this filter and it works for me. It's been working for me. And I've had a lot of tilting ass experiences in the last year, but I'm not going to, I don't get as tilted over it as I sh- yeah. as I used to because you've helped me a lot in that way. And I think coming to season three. It's empowerment season. You. This is the empowerment season, baby. Is is this the the self help empowerment this is the season? Empower- well, I feel like that. I feel like th- that's almost where beer sauce is not heading. And we're, I but, mean, we're gonna grow every year. Yeah, like which is good. Like I think season one was really good at external topics. Yeah, like ooh, the internet's funny. Let's talk about that. Ooh, shaving my we pubes do, was funny. We should do. I just hit my mic, but we should do an episode like one of the first ever episode ideas and redo it. Let's do it. But like, like I think we, I mean, let's redo it and then like make them better. But what about you? How have you changed, bro? Because I talk about me, like I think what like the 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 bro is how to less, sum it up, dude. Maybe you won't what even feel you? anxiety next year, dude. A little bit of you anxiety. Think, is you think that's impossible? That, that's true. I feel like I feel I I feel like I should have more. You yeah. Should, like I feel like if I could, I would take some anxiety and just yeah, maybe put, take some of mine, dude. We would take be it off such my chest. a good human if we morphed. I think if we morphed into like, one, we would be perfect be planning, per- perfect anxiety, like, like perfect like, amount of polarity, like perfect amount of motivation. Like it would be fucking perfect, bro. Yeah. Because oh I don't God. feel anxiety. I feel like that is a detriment. Like that. That's how you forget your passion. I feel too much. You feel too little. <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, let's just merge. Well, you're even and out, but I'm not. <laughs> it's gotten worse for you. <laughs> yeah. You feel less anxiety. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm not evening out. Fuck. Um, I wrote this. Mm-hmm. Um, to be honest, beer sauce <laughs> was more passionate for me in the middle of the year than it is now. Mm-hmm. I'm just so much more dull now. Like, I'm so introverted now, dude. Like, I wrote here, I used to want community. That's something that I mentioned so much in last year's reflection where I was like, I'm so glad we cultivated this community of like people around us. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying about like the people that are listeners, but like the people that have come on the show and our friend group. Yeah. I'm so introverted now. Like I don't even necessarily want that. Like I want it, but I would be so fine without it because my recharge time is like the highest it's ever been. Like I've been watching so many movies just to, like recharge and yeah. When I go out, like, let's say after this, I need to shut the fuck up for, like, two days. After mm-hmm. going out, I, like, put so much time in between hanging out with people just because I need, like, multiple days. I want to say, like, four or five days at home by myself a week. That's, like, um my, like, ideal, like, week yeah. where I'm not outside for, like, most of the week because I get so exhausted from just, ta- like, socializing. It's not that I don't like socializing, but... I'm like exhausted. I'm so introverted. So you think that's been the biggest like season two to sum up for you is introversion arc? If we're talking we're outside of the podcast, yeah, like just my life, I've become so introverted. Like I have no, like um, I have no desire to even talk to people if it's not like th- three people. <laughs> well, I think you. I think well, you we we have a community now. I think the difference is, is we actually have. A I don't have to fight community. for anything. Yeah, you, I, you don't have to work for it. You have, you man, separate. but that work felt good. It felt fulfilling. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, well, I mean, it's like the same thing of you grinding to a million followers, and then when and you then hit a million, you, get, you feel nothing. Do you? Right? You can't win. You can't. Living life sucks. Everything I've ever achieved, I feel it for like a minute. Yeah, dude. And then I life just, is that's not it. worth living. You live and you die. Might as well just dick around. Might Maybe as well we drop have, out of school and dick around. You know what? Maybe season three should be evil. Evil arc? Maybe we should have evil arc. Let's get evil. Fuck self No, wait, that's season four. Season three is our good arc, but then we get really yeah. fucking evil. Because you know what happens? Like, we have, like, some fucked up shit happen to us. Like, yeah. I lose an arm, an arm or something. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, in community. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll grow a mustache. Yeah. Okay, easy. But I just said I want to be alone a lot of time now. I'm introverted. Yeah, I think, well, um, that's, I mean. And my Starbucks I think you death. actually have, like, depression. depression. I think I need to do shrooms and have ego death. You, well, yeah. I, need, I think I need ego death. I'm, I think it's time. I mean, I did a little bit of shrooms and I had Starbucks death. Yeah. Basically, Starbucks death in the Derek Zoo lore is I really liked myself when I worked at Starbucks and I was watching How I Met Your Mother and they were in a cafe and I was on shrooms and shrooms really lets, like, I suppress a lot of emotions. Shrooms makes it so it's harder to do that. Mm-hmm. So 
I did a little bit. It wasn't even a lot, but I was also drunk. But I see this cafe and I just start freaking out. I'm like, dude, like, fuck. My life was so much better. I was such a better person. I like myself more. And I'm like, fuck, fuck. So that was my Starbucks death. I eventually suppressed it because I'm better. I'm better than the yeah. shrooms. But I think I really need to feel that. I think I need to have true ego death. Mm-hmm. What would even like fulfillment? Like, Beer Sauce was fulfilling you, like, let's just say six months ago? Is it less fulfilling? Dude, my, my memory is really bad, <laughs> but I know that it was points where it fulfilled me more than it does now. It always has ups and downs. That's true. Like, creativity. My fulfillment is views now. Dude, well, creativity isn't a constant flow as uh, much as people genius. like to think about it. Yeah. It has its bursts. There's some, dude, like two months ago, me and Derek had two more ideas for beer sauce. We had two. And this was two months ago. That was, that was even, that was four episodes ago. That was not long ago. We had two two more episode ideas, right? Now we had an influx of creativity and a huge burst and, and a squirt. And chat GP. We had a squirt <laughs> a of bit. creativity. A squirt. And now we have like 25 ideas. I haven't had a new idea for beer sauce in like two weeks. I haven't thought about it. Yeah. You gotta it's, get... it's influxes. No, bro hasn't showered in two weeks is what you're saying. <laughs> oh, because you always come with a good idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm stinky as fuck right now. I'm stinky as fuck. Yeah. Right? And I think like it, it has its ups and downs. Sometimes you're not going to like, like, dude, I don't wake up every day wanting to fucking edit a episode of Beer Sauce. Yeah. Like sometimes I have to do it. Sometimes I'm so excited about editing it. It just, it's an influx in it. Like differences. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My thing, I think it was really toxic, is the views thing. Yeah. My fulfillment is based on numbers now and not what we create. I could create the best thing ever, but if it doesn't do well, I'm not fulfilled. I could create pulp thick. I, I could create Interstellar. Yeah. I could make Interstellar right now. And if it doesn't get views, even if it does get like a little bit of views and people, the people that did watch it like it, but it's not very successful to the point where I feel like it's fulfilling. I'm not fulfilled. I don't care if it's good or not. That's Fuck. my problem. It's all numbers, dude. I think you need to find creative fulfillment. I think you need Maybe, to be like, I got to stop checking. I'm going to stop checking. I, I also think it's like your, your like, um, like Derek's zoo videos. Derek's zoo. Yeah. Like, I think those videos are fulfilling in a way. They like, are. I think you need to be creatively yeah. fulfilled. And I think now, like, dude, you, let's be real. Like, uh, uh, like the first 19, 20 years of your life, like, you were not, like, creative, bro. No. Like, I think this is the first time you've scratched that itch and you just want to scratch at it we harder. Should, we should, like, go do art. This is art. No, no, no. We should, like, do, like, like in Little Women when Florence Pugh moves the the france to do art i'm we down do to move to france for a year and work in a kitchen with you like a high class kitchen like buy a one-way ticket i'm so down dude i can't cook but you'll learn if you move to france and buy a one-way ticket bro you'll have to learn how to cook let's move to paris let's get jobs at like like one michelin star restaurants let's work as dishwashers work away, work away from up. the bottom to the top i'm so down like i do this like give me like six months i'm down if you're down what about this what about you the bring f- the fucking cameras bro there's content creators in france yeah but French people, fuck them. <laughs> I know you're taking that from like that's a Theo Bond club. I know for a fact that's a Theo people Bond club. Dude, the, the French people get shit on a lot. What? Why do because a lot do? of foreigners go to France and apparently they have a bad experience because French people don't treat them that well in customer service areas only. I'm not talking about the actual people, but apparently like customer service wise, like they are not treated very. Yeah, well. dude, I've worked customer service ever since I was 15 fucking years old. Like it's miserable. Like, yeah, no, it's but... fucking miserable. Have you seen you haven't seen those memes where it's like POV you order in France but you spoke English? We have different for you pages, bro. Yeah. We have different fucking for you yeah, pages. Yeah, what do you even see on yours? Fucking Valorant and shit? No lie. Fucking bro. bitches. No, I see this one really specific Instagram and TikTok account, but I like Wait, do they kind of look like us? They honestly, they look a little bit like us. I think the guy on like one of them's like a little bit Korean, the other one's like Latino as fuck, bro. Wait, are you talking about B E E R S O S P O D C A S T Beer Sauce Podcast? I am talking about those guys. Check out the Beer Sauce Podcast to keep up with highlights, lore, and what's going on in the beer sauce world. Um, let's do shrooms on here. I'm so down. Are we gonna do a drug on here? Oh, we're alcohol. Oh yeah, we have yeah we have an episode coming up. Because um, remember what we we really want to do like an Adderall episode. I'm gonna fucking be fucked up though. Oh, I just get mad. You're just going to yell at me and then I'm going to run around. <laughs> it's going to be like the worst episode ever. Um, I think um, season one, season two, it's been a insane to you journey. We've been doing this for more than 600 days. Damn, dude. We do this for more than 600 days. 
Um, thank you very, 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 very much, much for listening to Beer Sauce and supporting us. There are so many more podcasts out there. Uh, and I know our market share is in fucking insanely small. You know, like you'd be listening to the Joe Rogan experience, but you've come here and listened to this. Nobody, do people listen to him? I don't, I don't know anybody listens. To, yeah, but he's, Ryan listens and said, well, Joe Rogan. The girls don't listen to him though. Yeah. Because if you are a girl and you listen to Joe Rogan, that's a red flag. Even if, especially if you're a guy, but you can't stop the men. They love Joe Rogan. No, they fucking love that they guy. They love him. Yeah, yeah. Lot to love. Lot of He's a good interviewer, but. He can do really long podcasts. He does like four hours. After an hour, I'm kind of tired. I like to oh, keep our yeah. podcasts shorter. This has been a long one today. I mean, if we're doing weekly, but, like we cap at an hour, dude. Yeah. Well, I do. We're going to get like tired. Yeah. It's like hard to be in. It's not hard. Like, <laughs> like, no, like being a server is hard. This is like it's, tiring. It's tiring. Tiring and hard aren't the same thing. Yeah. It's tiring yeah. to be in front of a camera and be like having stimulant conversations for a whole Kinda hour. lights. Yeah. These are like mall lights. These lights like, are Like if you walk into fuck. an H&M, this is the light on yeah. you. And it's like they have those lights. I swear to God. So you it's, make it's, your purchase it's, faster, it's dude. The, yeah. It's the worst fucking lighting experience ever. But um, it's been an honor to do this with you. Xiao Yong, you know Thank, what? Yeah, like no, well, I mean, you invited me on this project. Well, I think I so. didn't even think I invited you. I think it was just meant to happen. Yeah. You came on the very first episode, and then I think when did you like officially be a co-host? I think like I halfway through season know. one. I don't know, but I knew it was. I, hap- I knew it was gonna happen. Like it has been a fucking honor. I think we work really creatively well together. Like we're we. We're, no, this. I is, think we're on the same page. We are, and I think this is great. And I think. We could be fucking famous. Let's fucking do this, bro. And I thank you for giving me this outlet because I didn't give you shit, dog. You, I think you would have done even, this. I don't even not. know when I came on, like officially. I don't remember any of that. Like, I, did I just I, come on it's like a blur. four in a row? And it's a I'm blur. Just like, no, I think I think you were just coming on. On so, I I knew it when I was like, I I knew it when I had a really good idea and I wanted you to be on for that idea. You know, yeah. when we have a really good idea and we're like, dude, we need Ryan for this one. We need Ryan for this one. It's like the same thing. I think for season three, we need. Pull that up. And someone pulls it up. Oh, we need to pull that up, guy? Yeah, we need to pull it up. Guy. Okay, let's get a pull up. For guy. free. Yeah, we can't. We're it. not. Our budget's I think like a, like a kid. Like a kid. If you're a child and you want to like be the pull it up guy, I think we need a kid on here. You want a little kid on the show? Because I like kids, dude. Why don't we get your sister on? She doesn't speak English. Dude, when she speaks English well in like four I'm gonna years, troll her. It'll, it'll be good. I'm going to troll the fuck out of her. But I think we need to pull it up guy. Like... Like, let's say I'm referencing, like, the uh, Bin Laden manifesto. Pull yeah. it up. Yo, pull it up. Pull, pull up, up Bin Laden. What do you look like? Is he clap now? <laughs> he's, yeah, he's clap. Oh, he's clap. Is he clap now? Yeah. Fuck, Because his like, brains are everywhere. Dude. Oh, shit. Wait, Osama Bin Laden's dead? Yeah, they killed him. But Oh, fuck. Damn. I don't, let's go. Oh, I don't, I don't. How do I know they actually did, though? He could be in Area 51 right now. They could have that fucker, like. On a computer, in his brain, in his oh, if computer. I kill myself, I'm running into Area 51. That's how I'm gonna die. Oh, I'll no, I'll, weren't can they I gonna do that? Can I come with? Remember that thing? Yeah, the Naruto runs into Area 51. Did that happen? It, I think people, it, there was a meetup. That's like crazy that happened, by the way. That's a like really. I weird. mean, they saw the the, um, not the White House, but the Congress. Remember those Republicans? Yeah, well done. That is honestly admirable, dude. <laughs> Why don't we organize one of those events? Ooh, let's storm the Vancouver City Hall. For what? I Palestine? No, I like cheaper rent. That's not even a bad idea, dude. I feel yeah. like people would do that. Okay, let's organize it. All right. Pull it up. Beer sauce.